seems a quick wrong about universal credit. When universal credit, well, it's cheaper. It's cheaper for you when they recognise car life, living in the car. And there's millions of there's thousands of people living in cars, living in vans, van life. It's a huge, massive global trend. And so is car life, and the car life's getting less big. When Universal Credit recognise car life and van life, it will reduce poverty. And here's how. It's, if a person's on the dole, unemployed for a year, Universal Credit will pay them about 11 grand. About five or 600 quid for their rent a month. So you're talking about that. 50, well, six grand, right? So let's just say they're paying 600 quid a month, right? Universal credit pay 600 quid a month, right? Five, let's just say they pay 500 quid, right? Yeah? So 500 quid a month, uh, a month rent, which they do, they pay at least that. Times 12, yeah? Which is, 10 is five grand, and plus two is, um, six grand, right? So, if a person's unemployed, Universal Credit will pay the, um, their rent in a shared room, which will cost them Universal Credit six grand, yeah? and they're going to pay them on, on top their, their benefit on top yeah? of that as well. Yeah? So the Universal the, the Universal Credit tenant gets all their bills paid for and living living costs like food and whatever. Yeah? So, <coughs> excuse me. If a, a if Universal Credit paid that rent money to the person directly, which they used to do until recently, where it was down to the person to pay the landlord from the the benefit used to be paid with, it probably still is, some landlords prefer it going straight into their bank directly and without going to the tenant, which it does remove a few problems because it's difficult if you're on very low, excuse me, if you're on low money on benefit. And you've got to pay out more. Excuse me, anyway, hiccups. Pay more than your benefit to a landlord each month. Because you will, because the rent is usually more than the benefit. So, if Universal Credit recognised van life and living in cars, basically, yeah, so they pay you a payment, your rent payment is basically it's your vehicle costs. It would be cheaper for Universal Credit to pay a year's car, it would even be cheaper for a universal credit to pay for a, a two, three grand van, yeah, a two, a two grand van, a thousand, a thousand quid to do it up, a thousand quid insurance, uh, 250 quid road fund, and an MOT, it's cheaper for a universal credit to do that than it is to pay a landlord. And then the next year, because you've already got your vehicle, you live in accommodation, and your kitchen and your bedroom sorted out how you want it in a van. Universal Credit would have to pay, instead of paying this much this year to a landlord, and then this much the next year to a landlord. Instead of long term unemployed, after this, this last year, a lot of people will be on long term unemployed. Um, Universal Credit would be paying out that. that well, if they paid van life or living in a car, they'd pay this for the first year. And the next year they'd be paying this much, and this much, and this much, if a person was on long-term employment. But, and even if they weren't on long-term employment, like, let's just say the Universal Credit paid for the first year, the van, the insurance, the road fund, and MOT, would still be less than paying a landlord, six grand a year. So they'd pay that the six, or just under the six, then the next year, when the person's working, they wouldn't have to pay rent, which means that the person it would put more money into the person's pocket themselves. You have to excuse the background noise because someone else is talking. So, um, it would make if Universal Credit recognised van life and car life. Yes, people generally would have more money to themselves. Well, forever, pretty much, because they wouldn't be paying. But the problem is, but for Universal Credit to, to recognise car life and van life, this pretty much bypasses paying landlords, which means that landlords would be short, and people living on car life, Universal uh, van life, would be quitting. 
and landlords would have something to say about that, I'm sure. Because that big, nice, juicy dollar per rent that keeps coming in on automatic payments wouldn't be. And those that wouldn't have that money, who have to keep paying out each year, each month, that would come into them, which would actually give them better quality of life. Common sense, isn't it? All good fun. <laughs>